true fellowship. You'll hear me say many times in my videos that you should ask God, the Father, and that you don't really need to listen to my videos. Because the answers I got come out of my human spirit, empowered by the Holy Spirit, which is the same mind that was in Jesus, the Son of God, on the road of the Son of Man. He depended upon his spirit, not his soulish mind. He looked to the Father. He would wait through that spirit, and the words that he would speak would not be his own, but would be his Father's voice, sharing what the Father said in light of the questions that were asked of him, or the things he was called to do. He said, the words that I speak are not my word, not my words, but the words of my Father. And also that I have to work the works of him who sent me. Well, it's yet that, because there's coming a time of darkness when no man can work. In other words, your work's not going to work to anything. Not going to mount to anything. Not going to be answered. Because the works that we were to work are already determined in us as individuals. And we were, by the aid of the Holy Spirit, to work out that particular work that God had called you to be. Expressing your sonship as a son of God, manifested in human flesh, a son of man. Jesus set the supreme example of what the first Adam could have done but didn't do. He cut himself off from his spirit cut himself off from his father, felt naked because he did that, was dependent upon accumulating knowledge, independent from God, to deal with his life and life situations, rather than wait through the Spirit for the will of the Father and to speak to his words that the Father would have him to speak at any given time or do certain things to which he, by an act of the Holy Spirit, would empower there's works. He would have worked the good works of God. Like James has said, all good gifts come down from the Father above. There's no shade of ill intent or variance. It's pure. Pure words, pure actions coming out of your pure spirit. It was the human spirit that never fell. It's the soul's mind that fell. And the reason it says he came to save the soul from his fallen condition, trying to sustain his life independent from God. And if he keep falling that way, it's called the flesh, your race, your culture, your second religious creed, or your opinions of gender. You keep following that. It says you are on your way to dying. When Adam had cut himself off from the spirit, and all of us being born to his loins, Went the same way. All we like to were going astray. We're acting in better from the Father. He said, if you follow that way of the flesh, you're on your way to dying. That's why the body dies. As the mind dies, so goes the body. But it's the human spirit that sustains the infirmities of our body. That mind is what we're commanding to put this mind on. As it was in Jesus, that's what sustained him all his life. All that I'm saying right now, in a free flow, comes out in my other videos. With the biblical text, to verify that what I'm saying is not something I made up, but it's coming from my Father, to the mind of Christ that's in my spirit. And whatever I got, you got. And just because I have said, you don't have to listen to my videos. Understand, I'm not trying to teach other than to be a tutor that leads you to the voice of, of your father. And we would have fellowship together. It's called the fellowship of the mystery. The mind of Christ is in all. Jew and Gentile. And all of us. There'd be such fellowship 
And we would be sharing answers that we've asked our Father and he gave us answers to our questions. And you'd find out, before we even meet across one another's path, the same question I'd ask, you have asked, and you've gotten the same answer, because it's all coming from the same mind. Let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. There wouldn't be no divisions. There would be such a unity of the spirit. It doesn't say the unity of the flesh. If the flesh surrenders to the human spirit with the mind of Christ, if all of us would do that, we would be of one mind, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. We'd have one Father of us all. That would be beautiful. And there would be such fellowship. We would rejoice together of the answers that our Father gives us progressively over time. Not progressive as the world's idea of progressive is. Forever learning never comes to knowledge of this truth. Sex world and the religious world falls into that trap. We can learn through our Father. Jesus said that they will come. Paul would reveal it. Apostle Paul would reveal it. What was Jesus talking about to the woman at the well? They wanted to argue about they met in the mountains and the religious Jews met in the holy temple down in Jerusalem. He said, woman, is coming a day, because he wouldn't get involved with her argument. Her argument. It's coming a day. But God look for those that worship him in truth, another reality, and in spirit, to the human spirit, because the mind of Christ would be revealed. That was kept in mystery from the Old Testament and revealed in the New Testament that the mind of Christ that was in these Old Testament prophets, unaware to them, the Holy Spirit would come upon them, stir the mind of Christ in them, the Father would speak through that mind to them, they would write it down, would speak it, then the Holy Spirit would leave, and they'd go back being their carnal selves that they were, they weren't saints as we would think saints. They made mistakes. But when the Lord, through his spirit, would come upon them, that was the living word. And they were speaking. And what they spoke would happen. Big difference. A lot of people spouting all biblical texts, claiming this is the word of God. The Bible is the word of God. Understand that. People try to accuse me of saying, well, you're throwing out the Bible. They did the same with Jesus. Because he would say to them, you have said, but I say unto you. And he would speak with, as, with authority. And he said, never has a man spoke like this, Jesus. He spoke as one with authority. Was Jesus the authority? No. His surrendered soul to his human spirit would express the words of the Father. And because he did that, at his death, burial, and resurrection, all power was given to the Son. And at the end of the millennium, at the consummation of this total age, the Son of Man, Jesus, gives back that power to God the Father. We can't understand that. To God be the glory, the Father. Great things he has done. So loved he the world that he gave his only first begotten son. That all would yield unto, yield unto him an atonement for their acting independent from God and open the life gates that all might come in. He forgave us all, Jew and Gentile. A mystery hid, and Paul reveals it. Christ is in the Old Testament unaware. But now we're around excuse. This mind that was in Christ Jesus as a son of man is in you and I. And we can hear from God the Father. And we can have a fellowship and share that same mind. Fellowship of the mystery, the mind of Christ in you.